The hunt for the Stanley Cup starts tonight. Playoff fever is running hot. In fact, you might say so hot it's starting to sizzle like a side of bacon. Or is that a cup of bacon? Mm -hmm. There's a Stanley Cup made entirely of bacon. A restaurant in Montreal doing that. One way that people in that city are showing their team pride. Habs take on the Sens. Game one tonight, 7 o'clock. That is one meaty rivalry. So look who we have up with us this morning, both in Montreal and in Ottawa. On the left, Douglas Gallivan in Montreal. On the right, Wab Gishig Rice in Ottawa. I'm going to get the chance for both of you to make your case. So, Wab, hold on for a second. Douglas, you start. Uh, everyone knows the history. Canadians last one, last Canadian team to win in 1993. Why is 2015 the year it's coming to Montreal? Or Well, let's not jump that far ahead. At least why you're going to beat the Sens. Uh, well, the Montreal Canadians know there is a lot of playoff excitement here, but this is not the team that uh, most Habs fans actually wanted to see in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens, of course, one of the best teams in the NHL this year for the entire season. Fabs fans here expecting the playoffs to come. You look at the Ottawa Senators, they got into the playoffs on the last day of this season. So, of course, they're very excited there. But here in Montreal, most Habs fans were hoping for a matchup against, say, the Pittsburgh Penguins, who were slumping their way into the playoffs, or the Boston Bruins, who they seem to beat every single year in the playoffs, but ended up missing the playoffs. Instead, they get the Ottawa Senators, one of the hottest teams in the NHL. So, Habs fans, even though they've had a fantastic fantastic season with their team here a little bit worried about the Ottawa Senators because they are so hot right now but you have Carey Price that is absolutely I don't even true. think you said Carey Price no well Carey Price <laughs> is almost uh, not even you don't even have to mention him anymore he's so good he's been so good for so long one thing that will be consistent in this series most Habs fans are expecting is that Price will be lights out but the Sens they have a pretty good goaltender on their side of the ice too you know what, Wob, I hate to say it, but as I listen to Douglas, it sounds like he's really opening the door. Montreal really didn't want to see the team that the city that you're in. So, Wob, Gishig Grice, tell us a little bit about the Senators, how the team's looking to your eye, and how the fans are getting set for the series. Well, Heather, there's obviously a huge sense of excitement here and maybe even a little touch of nervousness about uh, meeting Montreal. But a lot of people in this city see this team as a team of destiny. Just a few months ago, a lot of fans and even maybe some of the players themselves probably wouldn't have envisioned a playoff spot. They were 14 points out of a playoff spot in mid-February. And then they rallied. They began this remarkable run, winning 23 of their last uh, 31 games. Uh, as Douglas mentioned, to uh, cement their playoff spot, on the last game of the season and that success has been due to a couple of key young guns most notably Andrew Hammond uh, a household name now as the Hamburglar who won 20 of those uh, games and Mark Stone a rookie forward who's been uh, lighting it up really he has a nine game point streak to sort of end the season and uh, so everybody the team has rallied around those young players and in effect the whole city has rallied around the whole Senators uh, team themselves. Okay so Hamburglar key just back to you for just one second Douglas and that is Max Pacioretty his his mm -hmm. health any word that you're hearing about whether he'll be in tonight well, or two days ago Michel Therrien and Max Pacioretty actually did speak to the media and it did kind of look like he was going to be ready for this game but then yesterday you know he skated with the team but he wasn't on those top four lines at the practice and coach Therrien saying after the practice that it seems he'd be surprised if Pacioretty were in the lineup tonight so mm -hmm. we're looking for some more information tonight but that might be posturing on the side of coach Michel Therrien mm -hmm. saying oh don't expect Max Pacioretty to play tonight and then of course and then he uh, takes the ice and everybody goes wild because he's their big score. <laughs> exactly. Okay, That's I don't know if you guys want to make a bacon bet. I don't know if you want to go that far. But how about a little trash talking about, uh, you know, why your respective teams are going to win? Doug, you get I, to go first. I, I just think it's absolutely hilarious that the Ottawa Senators had to go out and limit their ticket sales to the Ottawa region to try to keep Montreal Canadian fans out of their arena. <laughs> just goes to show you how much passion there is behind the Habs fans. But really, from an Ottawa side of things, this is like going out into a rainstorm with a cocktail umbrella or something like that. Ooh. You're not going to be able to stop the Montreal Canadiens fans oh, from rolling into go. that building and cheering for the house. All right, and the Rice rebuttal. Last word to you, Wob. 
Well, I think uh, Sens fans here would clearly argue that they have recent history on their side. Now, these two teams have only met once before in the playoffs, and that was two years ago. And the Montreal Canadiens were heavily favored in that series as well, but the Senators ended up uh, rolling over them in five games. So a lot of Sens fans here are hoping for a repeat performance. Either way, uh, it's going to be a great matchup. Really appreciate both of you weighing in. Thanks very much. We'll be watching, talking to you again, I hope. Thank you. Thank you.